Well, let's continue the conversation around this story. Joining us now is Lebohang Monjane, Executive Director at ISASA. They're going to give us their reaction. We're also joined by uh, Steve uh, Mabona. He is uh, the spokesperson for the education department uh, in the Gauteng province. To both of you gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for your time. Can I start with you, Mr. Monchane? Any information as to the background to this story as to what actually happened here? What is the context? Uh, yes, good morning. Um, our understanding as a school association is that this was a lesson uh, in which the teacher had been asked about racism. Uh, it was a substitute teacher, so obviously the teacher did not have a relationship, you know, a, a long-standing relationship with those students. Mm. And she was trying to explain um, what racism was and how it may or may not affect the students in the class. Uh, and obviously it was recorded and, um, uh, and regrettably uh, raised some uh, unhappiness. And so, in your view, was the dismissal here the appropriate step to take, given what you have just explained, that this was a, a lesson about racism? You know, I mean, I think that we, it, we must all be very cautious to try and make a decision about facts or the nuances that we do not understand as people who are one step removed. So I really would just say that what it does speak to is something that I'm really am concerned about and is an international trend. That what is happening in the classroom is now becoming quite evident uh, in students maybe uh, videotaping or transmitting what they understood to have happened in the classroom and then putting it into a public domain and then we react and respond to it, not having known the full context. So, um, so really what I would caution everybody is, is that yes, racism is a terrible thing, but I think that we can all agree that it's also quite important that we do teach our children about racism. And maybe this is not the best way to have done it, but this is where this is what, has, what did occur. All right, let's bring into the conversation Steve Mabona from the Department of uh, Education here in the province. Mr. Mabona, let's thank you for your time. How do you see this incident and uh, what is the message coming from government? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Oli, and uh, to our viewers. Look, um, you cannot uh, even defend. This is unacceptable. It's sheer racism that it cannot be accepted in our learning institutions. Hence, we felt that we need to visit the school. Uh, we are currently still at the school. We met with the school, and they gave us their version, which uh, they uh, don't encourage, they regret, uh, you know, and they, uh, they have uh, interacted with their parents. But um, what is important here is that you cannot perpetuate racism in the learning institution. Irrespective of trying to justify whether it was a lesson and what was happening there, you can't bring racism and want that to be an example. Mr. Mabona, the, the explanation I have just gotten from Mr. Monchane is that this was a lesson about racism and I'm quite keen to know when you say that the school has given you their version of events. What did the school tell you exactly? Mr. Mabona, are you still there? All right, Steve Mabona, I think he seems to be struggling. All right, Steve Mabona, I'm told that uh, you are back with us. Uh, you yes, have okay. just told us that um, the school has given you their version of events. What exactly do they say happened? No, they're saying it was a lesson on provocative language. It's in a classroom, an English uh, classroom, 
where the educator was teaching on provocation uh, language, provocative language, which she was putting an emphasis that these learners should not be uh, probably heard uh, when one will refer them the K word or the N word that she was uh, demonstrating on the board, which is uh, it's unacceptable, really. It will even go to the extent of using that example after knowing what is it that we went through, uh, through, uh, you know, apartheid and discrimination. Mm. So it, there's no way that the, the class can teach racism. It, 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 it can't be. If the example was uh, far-fetched, it was unacceptable. Hence, the school, they've taken a decision that uh, she must be dismissed immediately. Uh, we are told she was a substitute teacher who came to, you know, for just a few days. She was in the school for five days. Mm. Now she has ruined the reputation of the entire school. And the other educators, that we must always respect educators that now they must face the, the public. They need to justify themselves that what are you guys doing at Crawford? Yeah. They normally to find that uh, they are being um, painted with the same brush, which is uh, quite unfair. So hence we felt that the school was correct in dismissing uh, the, the, the educator, and uh, they must just make sure that they tighten up their uh, recruitment policy when coming to the substitute teachers. And hence we have recommended that this teacher must be uh, reported to SAIS, which the school has already started with that process. Mr. Monjane? Let me come back to you. Mr. Mabona here tells us about a lesson on provocative language or use of language. And you have told us about a lesson on racism. Either or, are you aware of lessons on racism in the private schooling environment and whether there is anything wrong, therefore, I suppose, what should we be talking about here? Is it the method used? I I'm not sure what to take away from this incident thus far, but acknowledging the fact that the school has taken the, the, the ultimate penalty here, and that is to dismiss this teacher. You know, I think that you just, you, you, you just in, uh, indicated an important point. What is the takeout? What, from Isasa's perspective, is that what we really would want us to do is that schools must be safe spaces and classrooms must be safe spaces to, 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 to discuss both uh, things that we can celebrate and things that are difficult. Mm. And I think that really that, for me, is what I'm cautious about, about seeing this video. We're seeing it at only one video. We do not see the whole lesson. And that is what my caution is, is that, yes, we must discuss difficult issues, and also the point is, is that we're not going to prepare our children well if we are not prepared to prepare them to ask difficult questions. If, for example, she used the, she, she, she looked at the origin of the K-word, and I think it's important for students to understand what that context is within literature, within the historical context, and so that they can now go out into the world to be able to be full citizens and know what they can be outraged about, mm. why they're outraged, but they must have had an understanding of that. So this is my point. We must be able in classrooms to deal with the human condition, the good, the bad, and in, as we've seen today, the very ugly. But I think that that for me is what I would take out of it, and that we must also not be quick to make decisions and judgments and, you know, to, uh, to say this is what happened. And I say, we are one step removed. Mm. So I will leave it to the school to engage. They must do what they think was appropriate in this case. But there's no allegation that this teacher called those students those kind of derogatory names. Mm -hmm. If that was the case, then clearly, then, and, and that had been on the video, the answer would be clear. You know, yeah. uh, it's completely unacceptable and extreme. No, 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 no. Le, 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 all no. right, all right. Let, let's 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 no. get you in. Let's get you in, Mr. Mabona. No. Why do you disagree so no, vehemently? I, no, I don't know what he's trying to justify. Really, he's justifying things that are unjustifiable. And he said we are removed. I'm not removed. I'm currently at the school. We've engaged with the school management. We've engaged with the representation from their head office. They are here, and they've acknowledged that this is unacceptable. 
So Montani can't come here and want to defend uh, things that are indefensible. We are not removed, we are here. They've explained on what is it that has happened in the classroom. You can't say an educator that will say, hey, and the uh, end way uh, must not hurt you because we have never experienced apartheid as uh, learners. I mean, you can't say that. They are coming from, um, they might not have experienced it, but they come from parents that have experienced uh, apartheid and the, the, the brutality of racism that has been uh, perpetuated by some of the races that we can still see mm. in, our, in, our, in our environment. So you can't come and, and try to justify this thing. This thing is, 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 is unacceptable. The school is, is considered. They have dismissed this person. Uh, as we speak now, the learners are going through counseling. They have uh, the people from the, from the head office, they are doing counseling now and that they will be interacting further with the parents and updating parents mm. on what is it that is happening in All right. So can't they justify this thing? All right, Mr. Monchane, let me come back to you because what this raises, therefore, are obvious questions about diversity training in the school that may be or may not be conducted. If it was conducted, Mr. Monchane, then what it means is that this teacher would have been able to handle such lessons with uh, perhaps much greater care because otherwise the school would not have fired her. Because what they actually even say in their statement is that they reserve the right to take further action. So, from your knowledge, do you, do you have any knowledge about whether this school, International Crawford College, does conduct diversity uh, learnings? It, yes, but I think that, let me just ask a prior question. I don't know where Mr. Mabona, Mabona is. Uh, I was speaking from my own position as a person who is not in the school, having had a direct discussion with the teacher or the school. Mm. I was not trying to That's justify anything. What I was talking about was the context in which we have to discuss these very difficult issues. Yes, it is important and that all of us must unreservedly condemn racism. And so I think that let's, so I must not be mischaracterized mm. on what I'm saying. We must condemn racism. And ultimately also that in those discussions that are difficult about the human condition, we need to do so in a way that is sensitive and that will encourage uh, greater learning and understanding to prepare our children for the world and the future that they live in. Mm. That is my point, and I mustn't, be, and I don't want to mischaracterize uh, about what I'm saying All because right. I'm not at the school and I'm not there as a first person. Mr. Mabona, do you take that to heart? And I think it would be important, given that you are at the school as we speak, the kinds of questions that you are going to ask management there, diversity training becomes the obvious point. Have you been able to put that question across? No, we, the meeting is still um, on, uh, but it is an undertaking to review the um, uh, recruitment policy when coming to substitute teachers, mm. because I, I think that's where the problem was. Uh, you have someone that you just call overnight and come to, to the school the following day they are teaching without going through necessary process of checking uh, whether they qualify in terms of the environment and looking at the diversity and everything mm. on whether they, they are supposed to be in the school environment. So those are the things that uh, we are continuing to you know, put to the management. But uh, what we are encouraged about is that the school was never on a defensive mode. They acknowledge our guidance, they acknowledge things that we have already raised with them, and then hence um, we are quite encouraged by their response and, and how they have managed uh, uh, this um, unfortunate matter. All right, Mr. Monchane, perhaps let's conclude the conversation with you, and let me ask the question. It's probably not going to be a question that uh, everyone wants to accept, but surely the school acting 
in such a drastic manner, what it says to me, if I were a parent at that school, it says, okay, this school, you want to take such drastic action, yet at the same time you're saying that you're going to conduct investigations. Could, it, could this be a PR exercise in order to extricate themselves from the problem? Because what then Mr. Mabona mentions here is the recruitment processes. Surely they can't just take someone from the street and say, you are a substitute teacher. This is someone that should have been well acquainted with the school. Yes, I'm going to say something that uh, may not be very popular. Um, I suspect that this person was a qualified teacher uh, and is doing substitute teaching. Um, but the other issue, and I think that this was not going to be popular, one of the difficulties of any kind of substitute teacher is that generally they're coming in to hold the class. They do not know the children. They do not have a long-term relationship with those children. So invariably, when you do have substitute teachers, things are not often going to go well. Uh, and, and also, you know, that's the nature of classroom management. So you're absolutely right. The school needs to think about what type of substitute teachers they do bring into the classroom, what kind of experience, and also have people who can quickly manage classroom uh, dynamics and also understand that as substitutes that they really must live with the values of the school uh, and manage their classroom appropriately. But, um, you know, and I think that that's true, but I do not think that uh, we must presume that it is just somebody off the street. But I suspect that the person was a qualified educator uh, and is doing this on a part-time basis. All right, let me thank you both, uh, gentlemen, for your time. Lebohang Munjane is with Isasa. Uh, Steve Mabona, very unhappy. Uh, perhaps you could have the last word. Uh, let's give you the last word, sir. No, you don't need to be in a relationship with learners for you to come in, come with racist tendencies. You can't. For an example, you can't even put that as an example while you are teaching, because you know where racism does, and you know where we come from when coming to uh, uh, what people went through when coming to racism. That's why I even think we, we must not be shy to be straightforward and say this is racism at its best, and it cannot be tolerated in our environment. And that's what we are saying as a department. All right, Steve Mabona, uh, very, very clear there indeed. Thank you very much for your time. He is uh, with uh, the Gauteng Department of Education.